Generic dictionary is a common way to store key-value pairs where the key is unique, for instance an ID, which enables you to quickly retrieve an object in the collection based on that key, for instance ID. In this lesson I show you how using a generic list would be inefficient for lookups on large collections, and how to use a generic dictionary instead. So let's say we want to store a list of customer objects in a collection, and then later look them up quickly. For instance, when somebody logs in, they are a specific customer, and that customer has an ID, and so you need to quickly get the customer object out of the collection. So let's make the customer class here. We have a public class customer, and then some properties. We need the ID to look up, and let's say first name and last name. And then a way to display it. So string or public string display. And then return all of the information from the object. So for instance, the ID and then last name and then comma first name. And we used ID, last name, first name. And then close it up. Now that we have our customer object, we can make a collection. And we're just going to use a simple list at the beginning. So list of customer, the name is customer, list customer. And I have a list here. So I'm doing control K D. It doesn't always align things, but there we have our customers in a collection. Now the question is, what if we want to pull out the customer with ID number 654? Let's say he logs in, we get his ID 654, and we want to get that object out of there. What ways do we have available to us to do that? Well, a very simple way would be to go through each one like this and say if customer ID equals and then the ID, then return it, for instance, if that was a method. You could do that, but you can see the obvious inefficiencies of that if you have a million records and record or you have a million objects and object with ID number 654 happens to be one of the last ones you're going to be going through the whole collection just to find it. You could also use a link expression which on small collections might even be more efficient but on large collections it's slow as well or slower than a dictionary. So that would be for instance from C and customers where CID equals the number that you're looking for, and then select C, and we're going to have to put all this in parentheses and say single or default, so we only get one out of the collection, and then we can display this to show that it works, actually. So we wanted 654, which is Rick Ashton, and we get Rick Ashton. So that solves the problem, but also if you have a very large collection of million records or a million objects in your collection, then this is also going to be slower than the best solution, which is a generic dictionary. And that's what I'll show you how to do now. It's quite easy, actually. It's a lot like the list. You just say dictionary, and then you have a generic type here and a generic type here. So we want integer for the ID, and that's going to be the lookup key. And then in the value, we'll just put the whole customer. Customer object with customer class, like that. And let's call this fast lookup customers. Equals new dictionary and customer. Very nice IntelliSense by Visual Studio. And now we have the collection. Let's just add these to it. So we'll run through them. 
customer in customers. And now we'll say fast lookup customers add. What are we going to add? The customer ID and then the whole customer. So then what we have done, it's saying I have a conflict with this customer here. So let me just put this in its own scope and this too in its own scope. And we'll take care of that. So in your application, this would be a one-time setup. You would take this collection and put it in this collection and have a lookup key on it, kind of like an index in a database. And then that would allow you later in your application to look up uh, customers very fast. And the way you do that is simply with the index. So we say fast lookup customers bracket index key, which let's say is 948, the last one. And then that is an object, so we can call a method on it, display. And that is Rod Anders. And we run it. And we see indeed that Rod Anders was displayed. So you saw in this lesson how and why you would use a generic dictionary. That is, when you need to look up objects in a collection fast.